Hello, hello, guys. I am Zachariah, the ghostwriter. You know, today on Saturday, I was planning to go to Val. I wanted to document places where I used to stay when I was homeless. I wanted to go under the bridge and take some few videos. I wanted to go to Budiba. I wanted to go to Makopano, Amanyane, Aval. I wanted to go to, to three rivers, including Makopano, Amaholo, Asasolbeck. But I saw this article about a boat accident at Val. And I just want to read, you know, for you guys, because it is painful. Mr. Dube spoke with Time Lives, and he told them that his son and a group of family members were celebrating a birthday. About 20 relatives took turns to do a cruise on a 12-seater boat. He said he was told, he was told a bigger boat approached the boat his family was in from the other side, hit it and caused it to overturn, spilling the passengers into the river. That's what he was told. Among the deceased was a pregnant woman and a three-year-old toddler, both of whom were trapped under the vessel after it capsized. They died with their life jackets on. Another victim was identified as, let me not even uh, put the name there, but the same name is Dube. His body and that of the relative were found a short distance from the boat. They were also wearing their life jackets when they were, when they drowned. A man who was amongst the first people at the scene and helped in the rescue attempts has disputed the vision that the accident was caused by the wake of other boat. Another witness who watched the boat a few minutes before the accident said, I didn't count, but there were a lot of people on the boat. The boat was low in the water. You could barely see the color of the boat. It's tough, eh? It's really tough. So I, I saw the article and I felt like I can still go to Val, maybe December, maybe January, because already this month of November I have a trip already. And I know how things can quickly change around Val. Once you hear that people lost their lives, it becomes so difficult for you to go there and pray in peace, especially if you want to use cameras and stuff like that. You know, Val swallow people and it's just one of the, those bad stories that you know you you read about you know and obviously our prayers are with you know those who lost their lives and also those who are injured because i remember you know during those days when i used to spend time there around val once you hear about one person found their val we know that you are going to hear about more. Once one person drowns, many people will drown. And there were also moments whereby we will be under the bridge during the day just resting because of our biggest problem there was that during winter, you have to keep the fire burning. And we have to go and look for firewood. And sometimes we collect firewood far from where we used to stay. And when we get back from that journey, we are tired. We just want to eat and rest a bit. 
And during the day when we are resting, there will be, you know, few guys who will come and greet us. And sometimes they will say they don't want to pray to a place where it's packed. They just want to go and have their privacy somewhere there. You know, later on, we just hear that, you remember those two guys who just came and greeted us? They're gone. You know, what? So that's how Val is. You know, once we're losing one or two people, you know, it's just unfortunate because we are going to lose more. Because I remember when my mom was still around, when she was still alive, every time when she's in church and she hear reports about other people who were found, like four more bodies were found, two more bodies were found, you know, she used to stress a lot. And I remember when she said, I know when you are around there, you don't want me to check on you all the time. But when you, 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 you find that opportunity, make sure that you call so that I will know that you are still alive. Because she knew that I was struggling a lot spiritually. And that's why I had to spend a lot of time around Val River. You know, and till this day, you know, parents are still struggling a lot when they are in their, you know, church branches and they hear that people died near a river, people died near a river. And I, I read this other article here, which, you know, um, it's about only Houting. Let me check here, let me check here, the number of people around Houting which um, they had to, because I see the other article here, say five people died, uh, five people did, two injured. And when you check here, they're saying Senegal. You know, Senegal is that site, obviously. The river must be Val. Let me get this other article here. when they are reporting. Okay, uh, they say divers from the South African Police Service Houting Water Policing and Diving Service were deployed to eight separate incidents across Houting, which resulted in the recovery of 11 drowning victims between October the 19th and the 26th. The most tragic event occurred on the 20th of October on the Val River when a 16-foot boat with a group of people capsized. So only on this month of October, we are in November, and things do happen. People are drowning, and surprisingly, we didn't have a lot of rain this year. We didn't have rain like we normally have. And just imagine if it can rain the whole week or the whole two weeks, you will hear more reports. Unfortunately, you know, it's one of those sad news, but I just wanted to make a video you know, so that all those other brothers and sisters who have, you know, Val trips, who were planning to go to those places where I just mentioned, they can just be extra careful. For me personally, you know, I didn't want to be there immediately after I just heard that people just lost their lives there. You know, I can just postpone and let, you know, their spirits and uh, their families do what they have to do. And... Yeah, unfortunately, it's one of those sad news. And I appreciate you guys showing me love and support. I just wanted to speak about that. I will make more videos. Thank you.